up everybody so i'm just heading to the gym right now and <clears throat> traffic in middle is ridiculous so i've decided to be productive while driving instead of shouting at these a-hole drivers and again i could be one of them right we all contribute to the traffic here so <clears throat> i'm being productive and i'm going to share with you some lifestyle tips Think of me like an Uber driver, but for health and fitness today. All right, so let's get to it. Um, <clears throat> I was just reading through my notes and, you know, one of my, if you don't know what I do, I'm not just a personal trainer, but one of the things that I do as well is teach people how to eat healthier. Um, yeah, I need to buy this clamp or something to hold it steady. Squeeze my cell phone do this crack that's what she said <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah I just decided this visual right now um, okay so not only do I just help people um, work out better give them a good workout but I've start I noticed that I've helped a lot more people by um, helping them with lifestyle with their lifestyle giving them lifestyle tips right um, because if you're just spending about three hours per week working out that's three out of 168 hours what are you doing out of those 165 hours so I started looking into um, taking up a course and I took it you know I took two levels up which isn't cheap actually it takes a lot of time and a lot of studying and I've been a holistic lifestyle coach for about I don't know five or six years now maybe even seven I'm not sure it's been time flies and so does my cell phone it flies <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's see if we can get this biatch in here once and for all. Stay. That's what she said. <laughs> all right. So I've realized that eating better would make a bigger difference, a lot more of a difference. Uh, making lifestyle improvements makes a big difference as well just trying to get this going here all right so um, here's a great tip I you should check out this book it's called um, mindless eating by Brian Wanzek I believe and what he does is um, this book tells you how you could eat better and not even think about it just do mindless things so one of the tips that really stuck with me was the um, they did this study with secretaries. So they're working on their desk all day, right? Um, they put, I believe that was Hershey Kisses, but definitely chocolates in their desk. And what happened was if they, the chocolate was within arm's reach like this, right? Within arm's reach, then they would eat um, more than usual. And I can give you the stats here once I search it up. But if they put the chocolate about six feet away from their reach w within the desk or maybe you know somewhere else but six feet away then um, that's clear then they wouldn't eat as much and then when they move the bowl of chocolate about you know a walk away from where they're seated then the secretaries ate even less and I believe they did one more thing fourth thing was um, um, they put the chocolate same distance I believe as the third or the third option that I just showed you or told you about they put it <clears throat> where you can't even see it and they ate even less because they couldn't see it because out of sight out of mind what a second so that is pretty much it all I'm trying to say is try not to eat at your desk Especially when you're working, right? Um, or if you're in school. Or if you're in school and not even studying. Don't eat mindlessly, okay? Um, it's said that we usually eat or munch a nibble and something when we're bored. So try chewing gum. Um, and another thing too is when you're eating mindlessly, you don't... How do you say this? When you're eating mindlessly, you don't really pay attention to the food that you're eating, so you tend to eat more. 
Um, you need to enjoy your meals, you really do. Sit down, take your time, eat mindful, mindfully. Don't be distracted. Like my distracting driving right here. Um, yeah, so eat mindfully. Don't be distracted because what happens there is you, you, you will eat slower, you will taste the food more, and you will enjoy it more. And you will chew more. So digestion starts in the mouth, okay? I've said this a few times already in different of my videos. So think of uh, vegetables, fruits, uh, meat, all right? If you're a meat eater, sorry for the vegetarians or vegans out there. It takes a lot of chewing to break it down. So, that, um, sorry, digestion starts in the mouth, okay? So really take your time, chew on it, and drink it, okay? Drink your food and eat your water. There's a Taoist uh, saying. What that means is that you really wanna chew your food to the point that it's liquefied, because again, digestion starts in the mouth. Saliva is the digestive aid, and uh, that would be better for you, okay? So, those are the tips I give you. Digestion starts in the mouth, eat mindfully, don't put food around you within arm's reach because you're gonna eat it, for sure. If you want food around you, and if you're trying to eat more veggies and fruits in your diet, then maybe you should put like a uh, veggie bowl, you know? Like cauliflower on there, um, broccoli, some fruits. And here's another tip too, when you put like fruits, it's a lot easier if you prepare the fruits by cutting them, so you could just grab it like bite size, because then you'll eat it more than, instead of, imagine peeling an orange, you have to eat it while you're at your desk. You're not gonna really eat that orange because you still have to peel through it, right? But if it's already been peeled and sliced, then it's a lot easier to pick, you know, pick on. So that's it for today. If you have any questions about nutrition or lifestyle, I wanna talk about that more than just, you know, workouts. Workouts are great, but I wanna make a bigger impact now through lifestyle, again, if you want to see more results in the gym, it starts with your lifestyle, okay? Um, I won't tell someone to exercise when they eat all the time, okay? Um, that's not sustainable. It's like putting diesel in a Ferrari. It's just not gonna work. So you need to eat right first before you can start working out. I mean, yes, definitely, if you start working out, some people start to eat better, and that's normal, because there's like that upward spiral of health. So if that is your motivator, good, start working out. But remember, you have to get into the lifestyle habits or lifestyle improvements as well. All right, till next time, if you have any questions, please comment here or message me, but I'd rather have the conversation open. You know, hold yourself accountable, put it in the comment box um, so everyone can see. Um, I'm sure they can relate to your struggles too. Nothing is unique in this world, trust me, you are unique. But besides that, the problems aren't really unique. I've heard everything under the sun. I haven't heard a new and unique problem from potential clients or clients in a really long time. So until next time, if you have any questions, please let me know because I'd love to answer that question on my vlogs and give you more tips. Take care, y'all.